Hi there, I am Cookie with Wordy Nerd. It is pouring rain out, and I think we are all in need of a book adventure. And we're off. Rain, 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 rain. Lots and lots and lots of rain, rain, rain. But I know the back way into this sail. No rain. Well, I'd be like to but I saw you back there. I was like, I don't know if you want to see like. Mmm, yum. Books. Got a little wet, but I got a lot of books. And back home. Alright, I am back from the book sale and I'm going to blast through all my purchases. I actually did pretty well. Um, sort of sad because that book sale I go to every year, it's in my hometown. Uh, it was a little smaller. Darn you! Darn you ebooks! Uh, you could tell, you could tell the ramifications of the ebooks, which is kind of a shame because this is their big fundraiser. Uh, Alright, first one. The Anxiety of Everyday Objects by Ariel Sheehan looked interesting. I honestly hardly read what they were about, so I'm just going to show you. Um, Olympia Vernon's Eden. Uh, this, I did actually read the tab of this one. I lied. Look at that. Two seconds after I say I lied, I did read this one. Um, it's a little girl who learns the way of the world when she draws in the first pages of a Bible, a naked woman during church. And the church folk don't take kindly to that, so she sort of keeps Having trials and tribulations, it sounds like, through all our life. It sounded interesting. Um, PU 239 and Other Russian Fantasies by Ken Kalfas. Russian. I don't know. Let's find out. I don't know if I've actually read uh, Dostoevsky, but I don't know. Have I actually read any Russian? We're going to read that. Uh, Cutting for Stone by Abraham Verhees. Um, about twins from India, I believe. India? I think so. Yes. And then they moved to here and there and there and then ended up in New York City. Mm, sounded good. Um, I hope they serve beer in hell by Tucker Max. Uh, this one I only picked up because I've always been curious about it. And for $1.25, $1.50, woo, I broke the bank and decided to buy it and just see what it was about. I saw it was in like email format. So mm, sometimes I like those, sometimes I don't. Uh, that Paris book that I just um, read last weekend. It was in that format. I think it's okay if it's done right. Um, Frank Norris's The Octopus. This sounded cool. It was based on the actual bloody dispute between wheat farmers and the Southern Pacific Railroad in 1880. I like books like that. Sort of grapes are wrathish. We'll see. Um, the Book of Hours by Davis Bunn. And Elizabeth Berg's Open House. It sounded like a cute premise. Um, she starts taking in people, I guess, roommates, le leasing out rooms. Uh, I'm st I know a lot of people like her books. I'm still on the fence. I've, I've read a couple of them, and it's like, my heart wants to like them more than they do. Than I do. Than they do. They? I'm referring to myself in third person. Um, Frances May's Under the Tuscan Sun, saw the movie, never read it, it wasn't a movie cover. Yay! Yay! So I bought it. Uh, I like that. I loved in ninth and 10th grade, I think it was, it was Peter Mayles, uh, A Year in Provence and all those. Oh, I loved, I'm going to leave my home and spend a year abroad and see what it's like. I love those books. Um, uh, first one I picked up was Tinkers by Paul Harding. I, I actually dislike the cover design, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what it's about. No idea. Um, Magic, or The Magic Toy Shop by Angela Carter. It sounded sort of like a fairy tale of a modern sort. Um, looked good. 
the house or a house at the edge of tears uh, by Venus Kurigata. Uh, it's just a little tiny thing. Uh, I liked the layout. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, it's probably blurry. Um, I thought it looked interesting. It looked like a quick read. Uh, you are not a stranger here by Adam Hazlitt. I have this weird feeling that I already own this because I remember I like it looked like the, the golden radius concept. I think I already own it, but it was only two dollars. If I do, I'll give it to someone else. I think I do. You know, oh, book prompt. Hashtag book prompts. You might be a book nerd if you can't remember if you own the book or not. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> this sounded cute. How Dolly Parton Saved My Life. It sounded cute. That's by Charlotte Connors. <laughs> I like the wigs on the cover. Uh, yeah. In the 80s, early 80s, I used to really love her music and I was like five. Uh, so I have a special affinity for Dolly in my heart, uh, just because of childhood. Um, uh, I, I got the other one of his, what was it, Things Fall Apart last year, uh, A Man of the People, and I'm so happy because it's the same set. Yay! That's so hard to find. I think it was only a dollar. One dollar. Uh, so A Man of the People. I think that looks very good. Yeah. Uh, the Needle in the Blood, Sarah Bauer. Um, this was set in 1030, no, 1000, 1067, let's go with that. Brains pretty fried today. And the one person commissions a tapestry, and then there's a love affair, that sort. Love, love that cannot be. And last but not least, In Sunlight in a Beautiful Garden uh, by Kathleen Cambor. And this is set. Uh, a romance of sorts set in the Johnstown Flood era, in the Johnstown Flood. Uh, my family is originally way back in the day from around that area, more in the Bedford area, but uh, in high school we went to the Johnstown Flood Museum. I don't even know if it's still open, but it was one of the coolest museums. It was one of those museums that you don't anticipate really enjoying, but ugh, it was so cool. They had a big diorama and showed the flood. Uh, so if you're ever out towards Johnstown and you don't know what to do, check out the Flood Museum if it's still there. Uh, so anytime I see something on Johnstown, I tend to buy it because I'm really interested in how all of that transpired. Rich to the poor, trickle down, that sort of thing. Literally trickle down. So I also rated their um, historic style books. Uh, and I teach design and art, and this one was cool. I got it for three bucks. I thought that was nice. Um, the Essentials of Lettering, and it goes through, it's a little, it's a weak book, but it goes through different reads. Um, I saw proportions and measurements for the type and lettering. Um, architectural draft writing, that sort. I thought that was really interesting, so I had to buy that. Um, these little suckers, I got two of these. And I think I probably paid the most for these today. One was seven and one was 12. And I was like, oh, they sort of look like crappy additions. But they are Lorna Dune. And but it's just like a flashback to childhood day. This was in ninth or eighth grade also. I read my paperback version of Lorna Dune. And it was just one of those books that really, it's not a popular book, but it really spoke to me. So I was like, that's cool, hardbacks. And then, and then I get home. And these are actually covered. Look at this. Oh, score. Totally worth what I spent. Both of them are like this. I am ecstatic that I bought them. I was sort of on the fence, but uh, due to that childhood loyalty again, I was like, oh, I'm just going to buy them because I really liked it when I read it ages ago. So now I have the original edition, um, or next to the original. I think this actually was like the third. So... Yay. Volume 1 and Volume 2, the paperback. Don't let these daunt you. This, these, which is also why I bought it, they actually have uh, uh, illustrations through it, so it takes up more room. The paperback's just a normal, you know, paperback. So these, I don't know, I had to have. I had to possess. And that was, this brings to the last one. Yay. Um, I got these. 
they are not in the best shape, but they just, you know those books that just talk to you on the shelf and they're like, really? You aren't gonna buy me? Why aren't you going to buy me? Buy me! The Swizzlies! Um, I don't even know what date they were made. These are Robert Louis Stevenson books. Um, I'll spin them around so I can read it. Kidnapped, Travels with a Donkey, Master of Ballantrae, An Inland Voyage, New Arabian Nights, A Child's Garden of Verses, with Virginia Best Puresque, Familiar Studies, Merry Men, Treasure Island, and Dr. Jackal. Um, I have to clean them up a little bit, but they're just so cool, and they have little pictures in the front. And they didn't have a price, so I was like, oh, I don't know, how about like a dollar each? And they said yes. So I was like, if you give them to me for a dollar, I'll take all of them. And I took all um, So those are my, my oldies but goodies collection. So not sure if I'm going to get to the second book sale. This weekend has been crazy. So if I do, great. If I don't, well, I did pretty good at this one. And, you know, enjoyed the rain, I guess, while doing indoor activities. And thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Alright, I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye!